Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's video, we're going to look at how to query the term file. Like you all know, a term file is a file that is part of an Oracle database and is used with the temporal table space. And like you also know, temporary table spaces are used for special operations, particularly for sorting data results on disk and for hash joins in SQL. Now you have to understand that for SQL with millions of rows returned, the sort operation becomes too large for your RAM area and must occur on the disk. So the temporary table space is where this takes place. Now, just like you know, we did in our previous lesson on how to query our data file. We can also query our term files, okay, by running the simple query. Now, for the records, I'm logged in as the sys user. My database is up and running. My pluggable database is also up and running, okay? So I'm logging as the sys user, and then I'm going to execute uh, most of these queries, okay? You say select file name, file ID, table space name, con ID from CDB underscore temp underscore files okay if i execute this query you see that i have two temp files one belongs to container id1 which is the root container and then the other one belongs to container id3 which is the pluggable database so you can see this one for um, the root database temp01.dbf and then the one for the pluggable database orcl pdb which is temp01.dbf okay now remember i am using the cdb underscore so what if i want to run the same query using the dba underscore temp underscore files if i execute this query because i am in the root database it will show me only the temp file for the root database. Remember, when we talked about the data dictionary, we established the fact that if you use the DBA underscore to make a query, it will give you the result based on the container you are currently logged onto. Okay, now let's try this. I want to alter the session to move to the pluggable database. So let me execute this alter session set container equal to ORCL PDB. Session has been altered. If I clear this, session has been altered. Now, if I execute the same query again, select file name, file ID, table space name from DBA underscore temp underscore files, you will see that it gave me the temp file for ORCL PDB, which is the pluggable database. So the DBA underscore views will give you the result of the current container you are connected to. I hope this lesson was interesting to you. Thank you so much for watching. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.